All right, so uh, got the Mayfly um, the other day, just a couple days ago. Went up to Tennessee, picked her up. Uh, that beautiful Yak Attack color. Um, custom, one of a kind as of right now, and well, hopefully that'll stay that way. Uh, installed the Yak Attack lever lock trolley, because I believe that you're gonna need Yak Attack accessories on such a beautifully colored boat. Uh, did get a few little things installed. Got the Yak Attack Visa Carbon Pro. I've got the boomstick to mount the GoPro on. Um, just a couple little things I want to go through. Um, things that I was asking and the things that I wondered. Um, like uh, what size of tacky boxes will fit in the, in the built-in tackle storage. Well, here's the answer, fellas. So I've got one size here. It fits right in it really nice and easy. It does not affect your rod storage. So as you can see, I can get in and out of it without hitting the rod. I got a different size, a little larger side size on this side. I'm gonna kind of come upside down here a little bit. So there's a little bit different size. It sits right up in there. All right. Uh, this foot vest, as you can see, is pushed all the way forward in. I, I'm six foot tall um, with the seat all the way back and the feet all the way forward. You're not going to touch it. Um, that's a lot of room in there. Uh, I just have it all the way forward. Um, if you do have it back to, say, this position, of course, you can't get in your box. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, a couple of other things um, was how far that seat traveled. Well, we're going to show you how far that seat travels. So that is all the way back. Um, and as you can see, You've got about a foot of travel forward. That's all the way forward. So um, now you've got a lot of room in the back. Uh, still got all that ample storage space, uh, clean deck space up front. Just going to tighten these down real quick. It's really simple and easy. Just thumb screws, tighten those down. Locks it in place. It's not going anywhere. Um, the seat does go um, high low. I've got it in a high position now. Um, to take it low, you're going to pop these pins out, put it down into this rest here, and then put your pins in. It's even got a pinhole for the lower position, so it'll be locked in in low or high position. Um, you can actually tilt this seat pretty much all the way back. Uh, so if you want to lounge out there, you've got a big day of catching big fish and you're tired, or maybe you're just a long day of catching no fish and you're tired. You want to lean that seat back, you can lean that seat back all you want. Uh, I keep it... Right about there, um, almost straight up and down, pretty close to straight up and down. Uh, it does come with a drink holder. Um, I don't drink beer. I don't. I don't have coffee out there. Um, if if I do, I just put it. I just put it back here, um, just to kind of keep my Gatorade in or something like that. But it does come with a platypus, um, and it does come with storage in the back. So it's it's a uh, it's a pretty good deal. I don't need a whole lot of drinks with me. Um, I can fill that up with a few Gatorades or some water. And a platypus full of water, and I'm good to go. Uh, like I said, I got the Yak Attack uh, Busy Carbon Pro right here. Um, nothing in the back yet, but it does have really good ample storage in there. Um, as you can, maybe you can see, it can go goes it does go all the way up. It locks or latches are really easy. Opens really easy. Uh, on this side, I wanted to show you. I've just got a five weight. Let me get out your view here. I've got a five weight. Uh, rod here just to kind of show how much size is still left so I mean it's got more than enough room it does hold it very secure it's got a latch where your reel seat is a latch where your handle is um, and, it, and it does go to different sizes uh, I'm just going to travel back to this other side just kind of want to show you it's got a little bit of room in there um, where the rod tips goes in it actually comes up and curves with the boat so your rod tip is uh, curving in towards the, the, the bow of the boat here what I wanted to show you, and what one of my questions was, is how big a rod and reel can this kayak hold? Um, to kind of give you that answer, that is a 10 weight Orvis Mirage reel. And it holds it very nice, very securely. Pops right out in there. Like you see, it's got the reels, the, the cushioning, so it doesn't damage your reel. Um, it's still got a little bit of room in there. Um, you might be able to fit a 12 weight. Um, I don't have a 12 weight to try. Uh, at least not yet <laughs> uh, but just to let you know it will fit a 10 weight rod uh, that is a nine foot rod and it slides right up in there 
one of the other features about this is that it's got this extra uh, loop here, this this bungee cord. Uh, what that's for, if, if you have a seven foot six rod um, or a two weight or a three weight, um, something that's going to be kind of short and small, um, and you don't have a, a big butt section, an extended butt fighting butt or anything like that, and it doesn't quite make it raku because the handle section is short. Um, your handle is going to sit here and your reel will actually sit right in here and this will go over the, the, the butt of your reel. So if you've got a little three weight or um, two weight, something like that, it'll still mount it. It'll still sit nice and secure. Um, it, it will get about um, about eight to ten inches um, of rod tip protection on a seven foot six rod. So you're good to go there. Um, got the bending branches, angler ace paddle. Uh, just needed something a little bit better um, than my uh, Angler Pro. Um, I like it, um, but I sold that when I sold the big rig to get the Mayfly here. So, uh, kind of a short video. Uh, I'm going to try to get out tomorrow, uh, get on the boat, um, test out the stability, try to get some video of it for you. Um, it might be a little bit different format with the GoPro type style. Uh, but thank you for watching. Um, got any questions, just post below.